Now let's then some business stories and the business community and some economists are calling on the central bank to consider cutting its policy rate to induce growth following the decline in inflation. The call comes as the Monetary Policy Committee of the Bank of Ghana meets tomorrow to announce the, its new rate after assessing developments in the economy. The policy rate is a key determinant in the direction of interest rate and the cost of borrowing in the country. It is the rate at which the central bank lends at commercial banks and it cut would translate into interest rates, which currently average 33 to 35 percent. Senior economist at the University of Ghana, Dr. Eric Osei Sibi says, the general inflation rate of 13.3% is a clarion call for the Monetary Policy Committee to cut its policy rate substantially at its meeting tomorrow. He said the MPC, holding its policy rate stubbornly at over 25%, while inflation continues to drop in the past four months, is not good for the economy and the private sector as the cost credit remains high. Central bank will be bold enough to reduce the monetary policy rate because the spread is just too wide. You know, average lending rate today is still around 33%. And if inflation is 13.5%, look at the spread. And I think what is really accounting for is the monetary policy rate. Chief Executive Officer of Inwabieja Rural Bank, Nia Madan says a reduction in the rate will inure to the benefit of the economy and spare long-term borrowing. We expect that uh, with exchange rates stabilizing and then inflation going down, it's our expectation that policy rate will go down so that all in tandem will make cost of doing business lesser and lower and attractive in Ghana. Chairman of the Ghana Association of Microfinance Companies, Colin Sampunsamensu, noted that the current economic conditions support the need for the MPC to cut policy rate to boost access to credit. So we've heard from the business community as well as some economists. They are calling on the Bank of Ghana to reduce the monetary policy rate. And the prime objective of the monetary policy rate is aimed at ensuring price stability and low inflation. As they meet tomorrow, let's look at the policy rate trend so far. In February 2015, it was at 21%. May to July 2015, 22%. And August 2015, 24%. Between November 2015 to September 2016, it recorded the highest rate of 26%. And at the last MPC meeting, it upheld the monetary policy rate at 25.5%. I made calls by the business community for a lower rate because of the negative effects of the high rate of the domestic economy. So let's give you a graphical representation of how this looks like. And we have the trend of the policy rate for the past two years. And as at February 2015, the rate stood at 21% and it was gradually increased. And by August 2015, it stood at 24%. And for almost a year, the rate was maintained at 26%. That is from November 2015 to September 2016. And at the MPC meeting in November 2016, it was reduced to 25%. 0.5% and maintained in its last meeting in January 2017. So the rate currently 25.5%. Let's see what happens tomorrow at the meeting. Lisa, what are your <laughs> expectations ahead of that meeting tomorrow? Well, my expectations like uh, the business community mm -hmm. and uh, uh, people working in the financial sector, of mm. course, is to see a drop in the lending rate that will, you know, uh, give opportunity for people who want to borrow from the banks mm. to get money at a lower rate. Also, the cost of doing business will go down, and uh, I'm sure people will be happy if things come down like that. Yeah, That's right. what we expect. The Bank of Ghana, maybe 25 flat or even less 24. Mm. We can't really tell. Let's, lo let's look at some other stories. You're watching News 360. And a financial expert, Samuel Sapon, believes the Capital Venture Fund established by government will be a major influence on potential entrepreneurs. Now, the Chief Operations Officer of the Ghana Commercial Bank told TV3 that the facility provides equity capital to any new business, therefore unburdening the beneficiary with high capital interest. Willie Evansinkum reports. 
Samuel Sapong was a guest speaker at the KNUST School of Business Week celebration. The event assembled some experts in the financial sector as well as business mentors. Students were taken through the rudiments of entrepreneurship and the need to establish one's own business. The 11th KSB Business Week celebration was under the theme, Growing Entrepreneurial Zeal of the Business Student. Participants were encouraged to take up self-profitable ventures to sustain their livelihoods, since solely depending on a salary job might stifle one's entrepreneurship potential. President of the KNUST School of Business Graduate Students Association, Aseye Kokui Sepenu, noted a favorable micro and macro economic environment will inspire the potential entrepreneur. If the right economic environment is created for young entrepreneurs like ourselves or those who like to venture into businesses, it would go a long way to encourage them. For example, inflation rates. If all these things are regulated to make the economic environment really suitable for entrepreneurs will make it easy to assess funds as well as grow their businesses at a faster rate than currently is. According to the 2010 census, about 1.3 million people who constitute a total of 5.3 percent of the population remain unemployed. From the Ghana Living Survey for the year 2012 and 2013, around 250,000 young men and women enter labor market every year. However, only 2 percent are absorbed in the formal sector. 98 percent seek employment in the informal sector or remain unemployed. Chief Operations Officer of the Ghana Commercial Bank, Samuel Sapong, believes the Capital Venture Fund is a major answer to unemployment. The Capital Venture Fund obviously allows the, the, the company to succeed without having the burden of paying higher interest, interest rates. So definitely it will have a positive impact in terms of the creation of new businesses in Ghana.